Just know when you see me, you're looking at You could have ten master balls, you still can't match Don't care about legendary birds, you can't attack Ash Ketchum catches them all, but I only catch Hey guys, welcome back to Poker Monday It's finally returning So, the way I'm going to format this new show Is basically, it's going to be kind of like a vlog Where I'm going to show you the highlights because I can't record my screen I, I tried for a couple hours to research how to record your screen and the only way I could do it is if I walked around with my laptop and I wasn't really uh, fond of doing that so it's going to be kind of like a vlog I'm going to tell you the highlights throughout and at the end I'll, uh, I'll show you all the Pokemon I catched so let's get into it right so we just got about three or four drowsies in a row and uh, I wasn't going to waste my Pokeballs on them but I realised that I want to get one evolved for the XP and I don't think uh, I have the evolution of Pokedex. So, just caught me for Staryu as well. I've been playing for a couple of days, I haven't even caught Staryu yet. I haven't been anywhere near water, so today I've caught a fish few water types. Which is good, just caught a Staryu. Yeah, a couple of magic caps. Gonna make that uh, all the way to the Garado. Yeah, which is Right, so we're rocking around my local park. Just caught me first crabber. Probably gonna be here for a while, there's a pond and everything, so we're going after water types as well. Hopefully we'll catch a lot around here because there's always lures going on, so hopefully we get a lot. So we just went through the middle of town where we went through about a million poker stops and caught a million Pokemon. Uh, at the end of this, when you see all the Pokemon I have currently, like, I will have just transferred all the duplicates. I at least have 20 drowsies right now. It's ridiculous, like so many duplicates, but it's a lot of XP I've leveled up a couple of times today. I caught my first ever tentacle, which was decent. Right, so it's uh, day two for this one video of Pokemon Go, and uh, today I'm on my own, just walking around right now. I'm uh, next to a canal right there, and uh, I'm just waiting for Pokemon, uh, well, water type Pokemon. Uh, just caught a couple of Poliwags, I think I caught three. And uh, early on when I was coming up here, I caught a Jinx, and it, I think it was a 262. It's the se second highest Pokemon I've caught, so I was uh, really chuffed about that. But this video is going to be over a two day period. And uh, hopefully, we catch some good Pokemon today. Because yesterday was okay. I caught some of the highest I've ever had. But it was uh, there was no really special Pokemon. It was just a couple repeated drowsies. So hopefully day two is going to be a lot better. Hopefully a couple of water to take Pokemon considering I'm around a canal. I'll probably walk them out and see if we can catch them up. I'm absolutely sick of drowsies. All that I name are right now next to water are drowsies. They're not even water types. Like drowsies everywhere. I caught about 20 today. Uh, not today, 20 yesterday. I've caught about 5 today. And I'm just absolutely sick of them. They're everywhere. And I didn't catch any until about two days ago. I went for about maybe five days now. I hadn't caught any until about two days ago, and now all, I can, all, all I'm doing is catching. And it's just annoying me so much. Hopefully, I can get some water tapes from still next to the canal. It's just really annoying. <laughs> Uh, so guys, it's the end of day two. I know I didn't vlog that much, I only did that one clip at the beginning, but I'm home now, and day two was ten times better than day one. Day two, instead of walking, I was driving around, and uh, it was just insane. I caught so many new Pokemon, I leveled up so many Pokemon, evolved so many Pokemon. It was absolutely insane. My roster is completely changed now. I've just just before I started recording this clip, I got my I got a Flareon and I evolved my first Eve and it was a Flareon. I think that's nearly a 500 CP and it's my highest one right now. I also got my first Hypno, uh, which I evolved, and that was like 380 odd, I think. And then straight after that I caught one, which was 480 odd. So it was kind of a waste of the drowsy candy, but I wasn't that bothered because you catch so many anyway. It was just an absolutely insane day. I just couldn't believe it, to be honest. These two days have been great. Um, Poker Monday so far has been great. I think instead of just this being a vlog, I'm going to start doing a section right here where I just look at everything, see if I can get me phone screen recorded and hopefully that'll be really good. I, have a, I think I'll be able to do a funny section and it will be in this video if I end up doing it. 
so it should be good. And I've also just noticed something, which is a major throwback. <sighs> it's the original Pokemon Day sign. And I don't know if that's backwards for you. Cause it, pro it probably will be, because it's backwards on my screen right now. Well, that's absolutely uh, insane, the fact that I still have that after all this time. It's just a major throwback. Uh, this is the end of the vlog part, so we're going to move on to the post vlog. This is going to be the post vlog part of the episode. I wanted to do this because I didn't think just a vlog would be enough for you guys. Uh, I wanted to talk about some stuff that happened over the episode, maybe have a little funny section I want to introduce which could be good uh, we'll have to see what, how that works out but so far in the two days that I've done this you know, it's been really well uh, two day vlog and I ended up actually uh, leveling up three times it cost so many Pokemon it was unbelievable it was just uh, overall really fun and I can't wait to do more episodes of this I, hopefully it's going to be as good as everyone expects it to be so what I'm going to do is right now we're just going to look at all the Pokemon that I have right now I'm going to talk about when I caught them, if X caught them in this episode and what I like about them. So let's get into that bit. So, let's get into the Pokemon right now. My top Pokemon right now is a Flareon. Now, I got this Flareon just before the last bit of the day 2 vlog. I was just in my room, right here, I was standing here. And uh, I noticed that my, I had 25 Eevee cam there. I had three Eevees and I just evolved my highest one and I ended up becoming a Flareon. I was so excited about that because I think Flareon is one of the hardest you can get when you're evolving. Because uh, my friend who was with on day one, he got one then and it was just it was extremely exciting. Now man is nowhere near as high level. But I was extremely excited when I got this uh, Flareon. It just looks incredible. I haven't fought with it yet. I'll probably go to my gym later and fight it there. But it's just absolutely insane. Moving on to the next Pokemon, the Hypno. I caught this Hypno in the day two part of the vlog. I actually evolved a Hypno just before I got this Hypno. And that Hypno, the one I evolved, was about 350. Then I ended up catching this one, which was 450. And that was so annoying because I wasted loads of drowsy candy on this uh, on the Hypno before it. And then hit this Hypno was uh, came along and it really annoyed me. <laughs> Uh, moving on to the next one is a Pidgeot, another one of my highest, my third highest Pokemon. Now, this Pidgeot uh, I actually caught in the. I actually evolved in the day two part of the vlog, try to remember that. Uh, this Pidgeot uh, is really good from what I've used of it so far. I actually evolved it from a Pidgeot, so uh, I caught that Pidgeot ages ago. And ever since then, I've just been catching loads and loads of Pidgeys, just trying to. Uh, you know, make it better, but you know, it worked out. I did get this Pidgeot, and I'm extremely excited about it. I can't wait to use it in a battle. Like I said later, I'll probably go to my local gym and fight with all these Pokemon, so it's probably going to be great. Uh, moving on next is my Raticate. I've had this Raticate before I even started doing the vlogs for this episode of Pokemon Day. Uh, this Raticate is quite old. I've got loads of Rat Attack and as you can see there, 42 Rat Attack and it's just unbelievable. Next is my Jinx. I caught this in the day one part of the vlog. I was so excited when I caught this Jinx. It's one of those Pokemon that I see often that I name it, but I never actually catch. And I finally caught one in the day one part of the vlog. I was so excited because <sighs> they were just frustrating me not having one. And now I finally got one in heaven. <laughs> Next move to my Poliwhirl. And uh, Poliwhirl, I was, uh, was kind of confused about it because I'd never even caught a Poliwag before. Uh, and this was in the day one part of the vlog, we were walking through an area where there was a lot of water and this Poliwhirl showed up and I was, I was quite excited, I was like, oh Poliwhirl, you know, it's going to obviously be good because it's the second evolution. The funny thing was though, I'd never even caught a Poliwag and I ended up catching a couple Poliwags in the day two part of the vlog, I ended up catching loads of Poliwags and I caught a Poliwhirl before I'd, even, uh, before I'd even caught one of them. So it's, uh, we have another Pidgeot or the uh, gas like caught like a gas is like one of the third Pokemon I've ever caught. You know, another Eve uh, shoulder which caught in the day two part when I was walking past it now, if you remember. Then an art, just nothing special, zoo that blah blah blah. None of these are really that special. Horsa, Staryu, Tentacool, all water types that I caught in the day two part. Like a polywag though, like I said, caught a lot of these, transferred them all. Caught a polywag before I even caught one of these, which was insane. Just a bell sprout, cocoon, and a spear, or nothing special, really, like caterpies and stuff. 
a Magikarp. I think I only have one Magikarp if I look through now. Yeah, I only have one Magikarp and the Magikarp can be done. I have 12 Magikarp can be. The struggle for Gyarados is real. One day I will have Gyarados. And I've got a Pikachu and I've got a funny story about this Pikachu. So when I got this Pikachu, it, I was a couple of days into having the game so it was like three or four days into having the game and I was quite high level by then. I was at least level six or seven by then, probably level six by then. So, you know, I was catching fairly high level Pokemons by this point. I was just driving through that uh, town centre and a Pikachu popped up. I was so excited. I was like, you need to drive a bit slower because this is going to be insane. A Pikachu. I'm so excited for this moment. And I did a cart in. I was like, yes, a Pikachu. This is the greatest moment of my Pokemon Go playing history. And then I looked and it was CP11. Um, it was so disappointing. But I do have a Pikachu and that's what matters. Just CP11. Terrible. So that's all the Pokemon that I have right now and on the eggs. Uh, nothing special right now. I'm just doing two 2k eggs. Now I know I have 5k eggs there and you're probably asking well, why don't you do the 5k eggs you can get better Pokemon. There's two reasons why I'm doing the 2k eggs. I just want to get them out of the way. Plus you can actually get Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander and Pikachu and Magikarp as well from the 2k eggs. Now the reason I want all those, I want all the starters because they're not the easiest to get. And I do want more magic art because the struggle for Gyarados, like you can get a lot of can from hatching a magic art. So uh, that's all the Pokemon I have and all the eggs I have currently. There's nothing around there. That's my local gym, taken by Valor right now with a Flareon. Uh, let's have a look at the level of the Flareon right now, actually. It's a 779 Flareon. I have no Pokemon close to that. That's my local gym. I'll probably try and take that later. I'll probably fail. There's like a hundred percent chance I'll fail. I may as well go for it anyway. But yeah, I actually live next to a park. I have so many poker stops. Uh, usually there's a couple of lures going on there, which is surprising. I, like I've seen lures going on there at like one or two in the morning. It's just ridiculous. I think the probably uh, sex predators is trying to lure children in the middle of the night. You know when the parents are sleeping. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's all for this section. Now we'll go on to a, a new section. I've just thought of like a couple hours ago and I think it might be funny. So I'll see you there. Hey guys, so for this section of the video, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, change the names of a couple of Pokemon, maybe make them into puns or try and make them funner. I don't know if this section is even going to be funny. It's probably just a cringe chest, but we'll give it a try anyway. So let's change the name of some Pokemon. I don't know if we're going to do a lot, or just a couple. But let's change these names. So, um, what should we start off with? These are all off the top of my head, by the way. And so they're probably not even going to be that good. They're not pre planned. Um, let's see what we've got here. Should start with Pikachu? Yeah, let's start with Pikachu. What can we do that with? Uh, that's quite, fu uh, quite punner. For Pikachu, something cringe. Like when people see this Pikachu in the gym, they're like, "Whoever's made that is an absolute idiot and can't do a proper job." Because that's me in a nutshell. Let's be honest, you know me, I am. So let's go, Pikachu. Pikachu, Chu. Pikachu, Chu. Chu. <laughs> oh God, this is already cringe. Yeah. Pikachu, Chu. My God. Uh, what have we got now? Star you? Let's do Star you. Mm. Oh god. <laughs> oh, I've got one. <laughs> Keem Star you. <laughs> oh, I don't know if everyone's going to get that joke, but if you get that joke, it's cringe but funny at the same time. Keem Star you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Um, let's do another one to say. Yeah. Tentacool. Oh god. I've got one. It's terrible. Cool dude. Tentacool dude. So bad. Oh, terrible. <laughs> um. Polywell. What should we call Polywell? You know what? Just because of that kind of like. Mouth area, the slurry mouth. I'm gonna call him Blowjob. I feel like Blowjob's a, a good name for him. And is there any more we can do? Any good funny ones? 
No, no, they're funny, let's be honest. Um, no, it's not that funny when I think of Jinx. Jinx is basically Nicki Minaj, let's be honest. I'm going to call it Nicki Minaj. I probably spelled this name wrong. I'm not going to even attempt to Google it. Nicki Minaj. <sighs> oh, God. Oh. Um, the last one. Magikarp. Useless. Just know when you see me, you're looking at perfect. <laughs> right, so I hope you enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Day, guys. I've enjoyed making every single second of it, especially the pun section, just because of how cringe it is. I'm going to watch this back one day when I'm over and absolutely cringe. It's going to be so bad, but I have enjoyed making this. If you do want more Pokemon Days, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and comment if you want anything extra added to the video if you want another section maybe a q a section or you want me to give some tips about how i play the game and anything i could improve on leave it in the comments I, all i want to do is improve this series and make it good for you guys and make it even more cringier make it more enjoyable i want this series to be as fun as possible for both me and you so guys as always i'll see you next time